John Dan Terrence, I'm Chief Architect of Dream Box Learning. And I'd like to spend some time today and talk about some of the discussions that are going on in education. So there, there's a lot of competing things going on. Uh, budgets are being cut, people have to find funding, the budget money's not coming back. Um, there's a bunch of regulatory things going on, new standards, new rules, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and at the end of the day, the thing that everybody agrees is that we want these kids to learn. We want these kids to move forward and we realize that a lot of these kids aren't being served as well as they could be. So what can we do about that? Well, at Dreambox Learning, we look at data and, and we look at how we can use data to inform instruction. And so one thing we could do is we could take the assessments that we're already giving kids and use the data in the classroom. We could design assessments that uh, uh, produce uh, uh, the kinds of results that teachers can uh, apply right away, um, prescriptive results. We can collect better data that's more actionable. Uh, we could use few hours for assessment and so on and so on. At Dreambox, we've taken a, a, a unique slice across all of this. We call it re-engineering education. And I want to explain to you how the Dreambox platform works and how it really changes the game in, in uh, adaptive, individualized instruction. So what we've done is we've created the perfect storm by combining uh, custom-built adaptive content, a, a great engaging learning environment, and, and the world's best adaptive engine. So let me explain all these in turn. So the intelligent adaptive learning engine is calculating a unique learning path for each student based on the data we know about that student. So every student gets a just right for me path through the system that's being customized for them and tailored for them in real time as they, as they move through the curriculum. That's all driven by data. So it's driven by this copious amount of data that the system collects, collects on every student. In fact, we collect 48,000 data points on each child every hour as they move through the curriculum. This is all delivered with uh, custom-built content um, it turns out that you can't take linear content or last century's content and make it adaptive because it's not fine-grained enough to collect actionable data in real time so that you can apply it to the student right away. And so we build our own content uh, that's designed for intelligent and adaptive instruction. The engine provides something called continuous assessment. That's what all these data points are. And so we're continuously trying to understand how the student learns and applying the learnings from that to how we teach the student. This is all coupled with the learning environment itself. What we want kids to do in Dreambox is we want kids to think. We want kids to explore what's going on. And then as they explore, continuous assessment figures out how they're learning, customizes the learning path even more to that student, and gives them just the right uh, nuggets of information to move forward. So all these things together really transform the way adaptive content is delivered. So let's talk about impact, because it's nothing without impact. Um, I could talk about rocket ship education, where they've done an SRA-based study that, that, that shows great progress. Or I could talk about West Seattle Elementary School in Seattle, Washington, where they didn't make, make AYP for five years in a row, deployed Dreambox, made AYP, and seeded a district-wide implementation. I could talk about Howard County Public Schools, which is a great school system, which just got that much better. Uh, but I could go on and on. I could talk about the Early Childhood Center in Kentucky, uh, where students come in in the first percentile, and with Dreambox in the, in the loop, they're leaving at the 58th percentile. In fact, 20% of the kids are leaving the program after six months because they've passed the 70th percentile. I could talk about middle schools in New Rochelle, New York, where kids are coming into the middle school system with second grade math skills, skills that the teachers don't even know how to teach against because they're not trained for it, where they're deploying Dreambox, getting those kids back on track for sixth grade math, and, and going back and deploying across all of the elementary school system. I could talk about Pentaluma, California, where teachers have been designing their own assessments, pre and post tests, their own study, found out much to their surprise that in six months, kids were making a year's worth of progress. Amazing stuff. So with that, I'm going to hand it off to Greg Long, who's going to talk to you about the product itself. Thanks, Dan. This works? Yep. So it's not just about having a great product. Um, obviously, you need to make it, have a great product to be able to have the outcomes that Dan spoke about. Uh, but it's also about the uh, success within the, the, the school itself uh, and how to integrate this technology within the school. 
uh, we look at it in three sort of buckets. And uh, the first one is uh, you're looking at uh, student information system integrations. Uh, how do you onboard all these children? How do you provision them when they move between classes or schools within the district? And how do you do that really quickly so that obviously the child's going to move into another classroom uh, in many cases the next day, so you've got to be uh, in front of that. Um, all the data points that Dan talked about um, up to this 48,000 uh, data points per child per hour uh, is also driving not only our assessment and instruction, but it's also driving our reporting. And so having really robust uh, reporting that takes all that data but actually makes it really usable uh, and actionable is critical uh, in this market as well. Um, and then we look at technology. So in many cases, classes have put, put aside uh, a number of minutes per day for children to be able to use Dreambox. Uh, and so the product has to be working. It has to be reliable. It has to be available. Uh, and so we're on a cloud-based infrastructure to do that. Um, we manage to aggressive SLAs. And uh, security and privacy are critical in this market um, for everybody that uh, wants to play there. Um, also. We have to implement it properly. We have to implement it uh, so that everyone can use it. And a part of that, in, in smaller installations, it, you know, you don't necessarily need professional development for the larger districts. In many cases, they want that. And so you need to provide that, uh, which we do. Uh, and then you need to manage their success in many cases. So uh, we want to be proactive with them, showing them what other things they can do with Dreambox within their school systems to even uh, have better outcomes for children. And so I'll just touch a little bit on the math. Uh, we are a math company, and we have content from pre-K through grade six. Um, we're in elementary schools and intervention in middle school. Uh, we're proud of our short uh, sales cycles. Um, we have an internal sales force, or hybrid, both internal and outside. Um, and so we can get across the benefits of Dreambox fairly easily uh, through webinars and such uh, because of the power of it. Um, and so we have a really high uh, scalable distribution with that method. Uh, we're in the United States and Canada. Um, and, and part of the difference is we look at many other competitors in our space. Uh, they're practice apps, so they're teaching you your times tables and things like that. Dreambox came out in a very different way, that it was really critical, critical for kids to have a really strong number sense, for them to really understand mathematics from this pre-K kindergarten level. And the product builds entirely through that. Uh, and if you have a third grader that doesn't have the skills that they perhaps they needed to have in kindergarten or first grade, we very quickly go back uh, and figure that out and remediate on those components of the conceptual understanding so they can move forward very quickly from there. And that's a major powerhouse of Dreambox. Um, and then we're aligning all this to the Common Core and to regional standards within Canada as well. Uh, who we are, so I'm really proud of this. Whoops. Uh, we're really proud of this list of people that we have uh, on the executive team, the team back in Bellevue and in North Carolina, um, and our, our board of directors. Many of them are here uh, for the next few days, so we'd love to talk to you. Just reach out to us. And so in conclusion, um, education's evolving. Obviously, that's why we're all here. We're looking at technology to really help us that way. Uh, we believe at Dreambox we have a really powerful uh, adaptive learning engine underneath this. and. Uh, and it's really um, purpose-built with instructional content, so it's critical that the kids really love playing this. It's not just games. If you think of games as just fun, they really are true learning games. Uh, you can play many of them on our website. Um, integrated assessment, so Dan touched upon this, but um, so we don't have sort of pre-tests and multiple choice tests that figure out where children go. It's, it's part of that 48,000 data points. It's driving continual real-time assessments through the product that is driving the child forwards, or in, in some cases, backwards for them to pick up on concepts they didn't understand. Um, so this makes it very uh, efficient. Um, we involve students and parents, and we, have, uh, we look for great results for all kids. And then finally, we sort of look at our strategy um, as, uh, as, as really in impacting every child out there. And so part of the engine does that. Uh, and that we really want to be able to do that for every kid, no matter what their zip code is. Thank you very much.